Hello people, it's been three months, so it's time for another quarterly annual collection new acquisitions walkthrough. Before I begin, I have to say that I may sound like a one-woman zombie apocalypse. Um, that's because it's uh, plus 30 Celsius degrees in Finland, and I'm near a heat stroke. So, moving on. We have um, Christmas memories, ornaments, drum and locomotive in the back. And annual ornament 2004 and 2008 small versions and this is a winter berries ornament they call this color siam i would just call it red but i can't be arsed to do anything otherwise um ice flowers ornament this is actually just one piece two ice flowers and two balls in one ribbon. A friend of mine suggested that I should cut it up and hang it in a Christmas tree as two ornaments. And yes, I left her alive to make further terrible suggestions about mutilating Swarovski ornaments. It's sacrilege. It's a beautiful item. And no, I'm not going to mutilate it. Rocking Christmas tree. I'm not going to touch it to make it rock just for you, because um, I'm not wearing gloves currently. I don't want to touch them with bare hands, because bare hands tend to leave fingerprints. Here's an annual heart, 2006, with a long, luxurious ribbon. They used to have annual heart for a while, but they ended that practice. Here's a snowflake, which they called Snowflake Samantha. I have no idea why. Perhaps they felt they needed to grieve the snowflake after it melted. And this is Holiday Magic Winter Village. Rather a new purchase. Very modern, but very beautiful. There's, um, the pieces are set, the globe or bell jar on top is separate from the actual village and Christmas tree underneath it. But the houses and the Christmas tree, they are attached to the base, so it's not a toy. None of these are toys, people. Don't give these to kids. Um, butterfly window ornament was a gift from my husband. And in the back, this is um, the third panda from Swarovski's SCS. I think this was 2008 annual edition. I showed the two other pandas in my previous video. There was a mother and cub. This is the third cub. So that completes my set. And... Love lots. Squirrel Gracie. My husband gave this one for me. It's absolutely beautiful. And though I first said I wouldn't collect love lots, I had to rescind that decision. It's absolutely adorable. And the milky coating is pretty rare. Here's a 2021 release Parrot Magnet. This is large size. The colors are lovely. Uh, there was a pin included. This is a magnet and there was a pin included, but um, I wouldn't wear it. They don't take wear well and I don't, I'm not sure if the magnet would hold if you put it on your clothes, but wear it at your own risk. This is um, Ziggy Woodpecker. Love lots. I think this was City Park and limited edition of 2010. Don't quote me on years. I'm really bad with numbers and years. And in the back, Marmot or Marmot, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, my English is 
slightly better than a Neanderthal. And, but only mildly. And Robbie B. Dog, Love Lots, Pioneers. And um, I hope I won't wake up my husband taking a nap. Um, Vase of Roses in the back. And Secrets Flower Box. These tiny crystals were meant to be placed inside the box. The top comes off, but um, my, in my experience, if you place them inside there, there's a good chance you'll spill them, all those tiny crystals, on the floor. I've done that. It takes ages to collect all those tiny crystals off the floor. And if you have to clean it, uh, I use canned air. And if you blow it too hard, you will blow those tiny crystals all over the shells. And then it takes ages again to collect it. And if you forget them and you decide to wash the figurine, then you will have a washed figurine with wet crystals inside it. And then you have to take them all out and dry them. <coughs> Don't do that. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Um, those tiny vials... They get lost easily. Anyway, Garden Tales, Cosmos and Hellebore. Those are 2021 releases. And SCS, Anna's Heart, Anna's Jewel Box. The box is filled with these tiny little yellow hearts. I took one out to show you. Uh, if you have to ship this, or if you have to move this, please remove the crystal hearts from inside the box. Because they will scratch, uh, if they move inside the box, they will scratch each other and they will scratch the main crystal. Crystal will scratch and it will chip and it will flea bite other crystals. So don't let two Swarovski crystal items scratch against each other. That's bad. That's really, really bad. Um... Moving on from another unwanted lecture. This is a um, secrets um, gift box. These secret items may they contain um, things like uh, photo frames and clocks and tiny crystals. I prefer these tiny crystals, but and here's an orca. I won't call it a killer whale because I know a couple of biologists who will want my head if I call it a killer whale. They are terrifying creatures, hello biologists. And a couple of, well, this is a paradise frogs figurine. I'm also afraid of frogs. Hello frog lovers. Um, there are many people who didn't like this design, but I like how dynamic they are and I love the exotic colors I do love this piece and then I have um, the golf trophy I don't play golf but I have a golf trophy hello golfers <laughs> anyway um, I'll be doing the next quarterly annual in three months again but I may do another update before then because I will be getting, thanks to my lovely friend in Illinois, I will be getting a lot of American and Canadian exclusive figurines. They are very different from the figurines that uh, their counterparts that were sold in Europe and globally. So they are very special and they have some special exclusives and I'll be showing a lot of those and talking about their differences. So I hope I'll see you around that time. Until next time.